In this video, I'll show you how to make your voice sound cinematic, and yes, my secret source will be revealed. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got a little bit of a spooky Halloween visual image, and I've also got a voiceover that I want to sound really deep and cinematic. Let's have a listen to it. October 29th. DJ Eli. Okay, it's good. It's a deep voice, but I want that real cinematic sound. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this onto a track by holding down Alt or Option and dragging down to a new track. So now I've got two tracks. I'm going to mute out the second track. That'll be my before track so I can listen to it after I've applied the effects and tell the difference. And right now I'm going to work on the clip in audio track one. I'm going to make it nice and big. And I'm going to go into my effects workspace so I can find all the effects that I want to show you and get started. So this is going to be really simple, really easy. It's a really quick secret source to get some real beefy kind of audio out of our voice over here. So first of all, I'm going to search for para, not paranormal, mind you, parametric equalizer. Drag and drop it onto audio clip one. And then if we go into the effect controls, we can actually see parametric equalizer available to us here. I'll edit it and I'll go for a preset called vocal enhancer. This is a one-stop shop to really make your voice stand out and pump. Let's have a listen to the difference before October 29th and then we'll apply it DJ Eli you hear how we've got more on the high end and we've got a little bass boost as well so that is what that effect is doing really nicely then we're gonna go for single yes single band compressor we're gonna drag and drop it onto our track and again we're gonna edit it over here in the effects controls and we're just gonna use a little bit of compression to really make this voice pump out of your speakers uh, so ratio I'm gonna crank up to ooh, it can go it can go up to 30 that's that's an insane amount of compression We'll stick with a very harsh kind of voiceover compression of 5 to 1. Attack as tight as possible. Release as tight as possible. Wow, zero, zero. That's going to be a very big compressor going on. Threshold will start down at around minus 20 and have a listen to how it sounds. October 29th. DJ Eli. Okay, let's go down even further. Brings you the biggest the spookiest halloween party now you hear the Contra. further that i bring that down the harsher the compression kicks in i'm actually going to just push that up a little bit to minus 22 and now we've got something that sounds good let's listen to the before clip like this let's go to the start and listen with the effects bypassed october 29th and then we're going to add those effects in and have another listen DJ Eli. So that's sounding great. That's sounding pretty good. But I've got one more piece of secret sauce. And for this, we type in multi, which gives us a multi band compressor, which can really do some cinematic kind of vibes on your voice server. Use this one with caution. It can be quite harsh on your audio. And I always like to start from a preset here. So I'd recommend uh, maybe going for something like Popmaster. That's a pretty cool, harsh uh, start. October 29th. And that is the one that gives us the real sound that we're looking for. DJ Eli. And you'll see by actually moving some of the sliders on here, we can enhance some of the sound. So if we move the high-end slider, we'll roll off a lot of the high-end frequencies. DJ Eli brings you the... And, and again, we can move this back and we can bring in this slider. October 29th. DJ Eli. So we can really kind of shape our sound to be exactly how we want it to be. Brings you the biggest, the spookiest Halloween party. And now, of course, we'll listen to our control, our before. So let's start with our before here. October 29th. DJ Eli. And then after, it sounds like this. Brings you the biggest, the spookiest. And we have a mega cinematic voiceover. One more thing, by the way, if you watch this far, you've done really well and you deserve a bonus here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and bring in a little bit of reverb on this voice as well. Search for reverb and studio reverb, my favorite. Drag and drop again onto the voice, edit it, and we'll go for a standard reverb like a vocal reverb small to start with. Move the dry all the way to the top 100%. Start with a wet at 20 ish percent. Have a listen. October 29th. And if we want it to last for a bit longer and not be such a tight reverb, we can increase the decay so it's a little more spooky in this case. It's a spooky cinematic trailer. October 29th. DJ Eli brings you the biggest. Now that's sounding really cinematic. And we're feeling there's too much high end there that's interfering with the overall voice. We can just go ahead and cut the high frequencies a little bit like so and play again. October 29th. And even DJ more. DJ Eli. 
brings you the biggest. And if we still feel that it's a bit too harsh, we can actually move down the dry level to 80%-ish. October 29th, DJ Eli brings you the biggest. And the more you dial up wet, the more reverb you'll get. The spookiest. That was perfect, wasn't it? And the further you dial that down, the less reverb you'll get. Halloween party. So that's probably about perfect. I think I have got a pretty good place for my cinematic voice over here. Now, I'm guessing if you've watched this video all the way through, you really like audio in Premiere Pro. So you should go watch my other video right here. It's, it's somewhere on the screen right now. And it's all about the secret effects you need, three of them, to make any voice stand out and sound better. Go watch it now. And let me know any questions you have in the comments down below.